Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As I said I am back with a modern logo, in this video you will learn a great technique with gradient, and how to make a geometric butterfly logo in modern style, then how to apply shadow like professional, and many more. So no more talk, let's get started. So, first we will get some inspiration from Google, go to the search bar and search by butterfly, then click on images. Then scroll down, and find out some image, which will be your perfect inspiration. This one looks great to me. It has a nice curve, and we can make this images into geometric shape easily, so let's take this one as inspiration and jump into Illustrator. Okay, first go to the stroke panel, and set the stroke color black, and then set the stroke size 3 points. After that take the ellipse tool, and draw a circle. Then copy the circle by pressing Ctrl and Alt from the keyboard. Press Shift from the keyboard and smaller the circle from this side. Down the circle a little bit. And then take Line Segment tool, and draw a line here. That's great, now select all the line and take Shape Builder tool then unite the line just like me. Take the line segment tool again, and draw a line from here. Select the smaller circle, go to edit, and copy it. Then select the line with the smaller circle together, take shape builder tool, and click it here. Select this down part, and with direct selection tool select this anchor point, and rounded it like me. Then go to the edit, and paste the circle in back. That's great, now select all the line, and unite it with shape builder tool like me. Now we will make a shape here in this direction. To do that take ellipse tool, and draw a circle here. To match the line, zoom in a little bit, and press Ctrl Y to activate outline mode. Now take the pen tool again, and draw a path like me. Completed the path as well. Now select this main line, go to the edit and copy it. Then select this three line together, and unite the shape with shape builder tool. Now delete this down line, select this two line, then go to edit and paste it to back. That's great, our main shape is ready to use. Now copy this whole shape by pressing Ctrl and Alt from the keyboard, then go transform and reflect it to 90 degrees. Okay, now let's draw this upper shape, by pen tool. Draw it so carefully so that then can be perfect. Draw it so carefully, so that, they can be perfect. Now select the line, and reflect it to 90 degrees again. Then unite the shape from Pathfinder tool. That's great. One more last time, select this two line, go to edit and copy it. 
then select this two line as well, and unite it from the Pathfinder tool. And then go to the edit again, and paste it to front. Ok, our shape is ready to use, now let's color it with gradient. First select this two shape, go to stroke panel and swap it from stroke to fill. And then select eyedropper tool and pick this gradient color. That's great, now select this single part and swap it from stroke to fill, and this time we will pick this color with eyedropper tool. Do the same here as well. You will get the color and vector file from the description. We will do the color on this three upper shape in the same process. If you want more video on this series, you can do subscribe and connect with me on Facebook. Don't forget to leave a like, and comment which part you love most on this video. I will suggest you to practice more and more to do better on this field. Thank you very much for watching, see you in the next video. Have a great day.